one of the most beautiful Airbnbs in Tagaytay. Let's go! We're staying at the highest rated luxury boutique hotel in Tagaytay. It's got over 1,500 reviews on Airbnb and it still maintains that 5 star rating. Celebrities book here, socialites book here, people even hold their weddings here. But the question is, is it worth the hype? Today we're taking you on a virtual tour of Nara Hill, Tagaytay. Hi guys, my name is Angelica Wanders and this is Eileen Wanders and we create travel and food guides all around the Philippines. We're actually in Tagaytay because we made a separate vlog on the top 30 best budget eats in Tagaytay. We reviewed 15 of the highest rated restaurants and taste 30 of the best selling eats and drinks around town. So if you're looking for the best food around Tagaytay at really affordable prices, then you can check out that video on our channel right now. Do hit that like button and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell below. And without further ado, let's go back to Nara Hill. Imagine a fancy hotel that looks super sleek and modern, like something out of a magazine. But here's the twist. It's smack right in the middle of a forest. Here lies a beautiful boutique bed and breakfast with a stunning overlooking view of Ta'al Lake. Green mountains all around you, the Al volcano right in front of you, and the natural sound of crickets and chirping birds. At Nara Hill, you can witness Tagaytay in all its natural glory. I mean seriously, have you guys ever seen a room with such a heavenly view? You can choose to stay in either their Kubo accommodation or at their boutique hotel. There is no wrong answer here really, but we'll show you both so you can see which one you like better. First off, let's go to their Kubo. Surrounded by mountains and lush greenery, this Kubo Airbnb has an amazing view of the Ta'al Lake and its volcano. This place is like a modern version of a traditional Filipino hut, but with all the comforts you'd expect from a fancy hotel. Downstairs has a living room, bar area, master bedroom with a queen-sized bed and bathroom. And then upstairs, there's a queen-sized bed and a sofa bed. This place is like a breath of fresh air because you have the privilege to relax on the huge balcony while looking out at the stunning scenery. They actually have a few kubos for rent, some good for two persons and some good for four persons. At the end of this video, we'll be sharing you all the costs and prices of this beautiful boutique hotel and Airbnb, so stick until the end to see how much all the rooms cost. In between the kubos, they have a mini plunge pool where all hotel guests can take a little dip while enjoying that stunning view of the lake. Overall, the Kubo accommodation is the perfect option for people who want to experience that traditional Filipino vibe in a modern and natural setting. Next up, let's go to Nara Hills Boutique Hotel. And guys, this was breathtaking. This looks like a beautifully designed 5-star hotel in Tagaytay City. But instead of skyscrapers to your left and right, you've got green trees and chirping birds. It's like stepping into a fancy cabin in the woods but with all the vibes of a high-end hotel. You can still enjoy all the comforts of modern life while feeling totally immersed in nature. It's the best of both worlds. Today, we're actually staying at Nara Hill's Premier Room 2. This place has two bedrooms with a private living room and dining room in between. Then a sliding door that leads to a long balcony for guests to catch some fresh air. All areas in this suite face the magnificent view of Ta'al Lake. I mean seriously guys, just look at this. It looks like paradise on earth, especially with that colorful sunrise. They also give free breakfast good for four which is already included in the rate. So you can expect a very filling breakfast to be served directly into the dining area of your own private suite. You can choose between your favorite classic Filipino breakfast meals. And of course, I had to order my favorite pork tocino. It's nice because they also provide a French press so you can make your own cup of quality Baraco coffee at your own convenience. And this is my first time doing this, so I don't know if I'm doing it correctly. Oh well, because it still tastes amazing. Also, the moment you look down from their balcony, you can see that beautiful infinity pool that looks like it was made by an artist. Taking a dip in this breathtaking infinity pool makes you feel like you're swimming right into the view of Ta'al Lake and its majestic volcano. The good thing is that even if you book the Kubo rooms, you still have access to this infinity pool. And people who book this boutique hotel also have access to the Kubo pool. I know these pools look utterly gorgeous, but that's not even my favorite part of this place. My all-time favorite part of our suite is actually the bathroom. I'm a sucker for minimalist and aesthetic bathrooms, especially one with a cute bathtub, and even more 
so with a bathtub with a view. The Gaitang is known for its cold weather, so nothing is better than having a nice warm bath to unwind and relax, especially after a long day of food tripping. <laughs> But not only do they have a bathtub with a view, they also offer two amazing services that make things even better. Just a few steps outside of our suite, they have a natural steam sauna and also an onsen hot pool which guests can book in addition to their stay. An onsen is a traditional Japanese hot bath in which you can soak in mineral-rich hot spring water. And beside the onsen, you can also pre-book their sauna steam room. This is a stove-heated sauna wherein rocks are placed on top of the heat source to absorb and retain heat. Then, when you pour water onto the rocks, it releases steam which then produces heat, warming up the mini sauna room. This activity helps relax muscles, open pores, and induce sweating, which promotes detoxification. Overall, both the sauna and the onsen hot pool provide therapeutic benefits that promote relaxation and well-being. And with the cold, breezy weather of Tagaytay, this activity is just perfect. By the way, not only is Nara Hill a boutique hotel and Airbnb, they also have a beautifully designed events venue. Set in their gardens and overlooking the Al Lake, this venue can be hired for exclusive use, especially for grand parties or weddings. Their gorgeous pavilion is made of natural materials with double-height glass windows and surrounded by gardens, a waterfall, and a lagoon. Nara Hill can definitely be the perfect venue for the event of your dreams. And we got lucky today because we were able to grab a quick chat with the owner, Mrs. Chian Caligan, over some tea and cassava cake. She was so kind and accommodating and and more than willing to chat with some hotel guests if she's in the area. And of course, her dog gave us a very friendly welcome as well. As I mentioned earlier, Nara Hill is the definition of luxury, so let's talk prices. The Kubo room prices start at 6,000 pesos per night, and the rooms of the boutique hotel start at around 10,500 pesos per night. Our room, the Premier Room 2 in particular, which was good for 4 packs, actually costs 15,000 pesos per night. Yes, this place does come at a premium rate, but don't be fooled by the price tag because the price reflects on the 5-star quality comfort and service that you get along with that million dollar view right outside your window. Everyone's still asleep, but I have this pool all to myself, so I'm not complaining. Look at the sunrise. Guys, what do I say? Anganda. Oh my god, look at that. This video cannot lie. This is how it actually looks like. Isn't that crazy? In summary, whether you choose the Kubo accommodation for that traditional Filipino vibe, or their boutique hotel for that modern, luxurious stay in nature, or if you want to rent their beautifully designed pavilion for an event that you'll never forget, is Nara Hill worth it? The answer is yes, this place is definitely worth it. Nara Hill is an unforgettable retreat, the ultimate haven for someone seeking a peaceful stay to relax and unwind in the heart of Tagaytay. This is Angelica and Eileen Wanders, Never Stop Wandering.